Hi friends, I'm Megan. And I'm Jessie. Megan, my dad is making me go to the dentist today. <gasps> Jessie, I love going to the dentist. Sometimes they give me a new toothbrush. Well, sometimes I get a little scared about going to the dentist. But the best part happens at the end. What happens at the end, Jessie? I get to choose a toy from the treasure box. A treasure box? What kind of toys are inside? All kinds. Race cars, light up necklaces, and my favorite, slime. That sounds like an amazing treasure box, Jesse. Our Bible story today talks about a treasure too. Jesus taught that God's kingdom is like a buried treasure that someone found in a field. A buried treasure? Now that sounds exciting. Jesus taught that God rules with all power over everything as king. God's kingdom is valuable and worth giving everything for. Watch to learn more about God's kingdom. One day, Jesus went out and sat by the sea. Many people came to hear him teach, so Jesus got into a boat and sat down. The people stood on the shore and Jesus told them parables or stories to teach them about God's kingdom. Jesus' disciples asked him, why do you tell stories to teach? Jesus said, not everyone will understand what is true about God's kingdom. In the Old Testament, the prophet Isaiah said, some people look, but they do not see. They hear, but they do not listen or understand. Through Jesus, Isaiah's words came true. Jesus told the disciples, you are blessed because you understand. Then Jesus told a parable. God's kingdom is like a mustard seed that a man planted in his field. It is the smallest seed, but it grows taller than the garden plants. The seed becomes a tree and the birds build nests in its branches. Then Jesus said, God's kingdom is like leaven or yeast that a woman mixed into flour. The leaven makes the dough rise. Jesus told another parable. God's kingdom is like a treasure buried in a field. A man found the treasure and buried it again. Then he joyfully sold everything he had and bought that field. Then Jesus said, God's kingdom is like a man looking for beautiful pearls. When he found one very valuable pearl, he sold everything he had and bought it. Finally, Jesus said, God's kingdom is like a large net thrown into the sea. It collected every kind of fish, and when it was full, the fishermen brought it ashore and gathered the good fish into containers. They threw out the worthless ones. Jesus said at the end of time, God will separate people who trust in him from people who don't. When Jesus finished teaching the crowds, he left that place and went to his hometown. God's kingdom is growing in the world. His kingdom is valuable and worth giving everything for. While we wait for Jesus to come back and set up his kingdom, we obey him and tell others about King Jesus who rescues sinners.